this demo is going to be fairly simple. We're going to have a button for creating uh, my demo table. We're going to have an area to put in first name and last name. We're going to insert a record using the first name and last name. We're going to be able to select the data and display it. We're also going to be able to drop uh, the demo table altogether. Let's take a look at the create button click. So here what we do is we use uh, the SQLite and the SQLite 3db units from uh, Free Pascal. We have a my directory function that finds uh, my current directory. This is fairly standard stuff uh, for uh, iOS. We get all of the directories uh, for the um, application and we pick uh, the first one that we find at index 0 and we pass that back. My file name then is my directory uh, and we add on mydb.sqlite. Okay. So then the creation button, what I do is I create an instance of a, D of a T SQLite, uh, that's my DB, uh, created based on the file name, and I'm going to fire off some SQL. I'm going to say create table customers and three fields. I'm going to have an, IT, uh, an ID integer, which is not null. We have a last name and a first name. And then we execute that query and we get rid of the database connection. Okay, the drop of the database, very, very similar. We just fire drop table customers and it goes away. Inserting a record, we simply do insert into customers uh, values. I have locked a customer ID number to one. Uh, normally, of course, you would increment it and stuff like that. And we simply add in um, last name dot text and first name dot text, and that's the uh, edit boxes that we had. And we run that query, and we actually uh, call the select function as well, so we can see the uh, record that we just inserted. Uh, the select button simply does the select star from customers. What we get back is actually, in the SQLite case, a string list. So in this case, we assign the string list text to the display text, which is my uh, T memo that's sitting on my uh, on my main form of my app. So the way, so what that looks like on the device is as follows: We run the SQLite application. And we see that we have a create demo table. We can make sure that we don't have a table first by dropping it. We create a new one, create demo table. We insert a record, and you see my first record came in there. I can keep inserting records, and it will add more records. So let's go ahead and open project. And I'm going to go get my fish project. So what is this? kind of strange look and feel to it. It looks like it's two screens next to each other. Well, actually, that's exactly what it is. Uh, in order to emulate what uh, the contacts application, for instance, does, if we take a look at uh, what the contacts app actually looks like, like this. So we have the uh, contacts app. Okay, We go in and search for uh, Embarcadero, for instance. There's uh, Embarcadero see it slides it over. Right? It slides it back and forth when I click on it. It almost looks like it slides a form back and forth. So we're going to emulate that by using animations. So when we click on an item in the list box, uh, we're going to animate it over. And when we click on the fish facts button to get back, we're going to animate it back. So in this case what happens is we um, animate it from where it was uh, to position zero when we go back and when we select a fish then we scroll it to the left 
so 2x coordinate minus 320 because the device is 320 wide and we started at 0 so we're going to go to negative 320 and we're going to make that take 0.02 seconds when we click on the back button again we go from negative 320 to 0 and we're going to make that take 0.2 seconds as well okay um, also what happens here when we click on a particular fish what happens is that we uh, pick, we save the name of the selected uh, selected fish. Go ahead and create an instance of that T-SQLite connection again. We're going to select star from BioLife, where a common name happens to be fish name, which is what we saved earlier. That that's the name of the selected fish. Okay. We run the query. We get a string list back. Okay. If you noticed in the earlier uh, application. The first thing we actually get back in the string list is are the uh, uh, column headers, the column names. So we delete that from the string list, and then we um, do some manipulation to the row, and we find the first comma, and w that's going to be now my uh, species number. Species number I don't care about, so I'm just going to throw that away. The next one I care about is category, and there I set category.txt to the unquoted version of that string, uh, the sub portion that happens to be the uh, category name, because it's just a comma separated uh, quoted uh, line of strings that comes back. Same thing for common name. Common name was already in the fish name. Species name comes from uh, the next field. Then we have length in centimeters, length in inches, and finally we have notes. I don't actually have the graphic in uh, the SQLite database. Those are actually file names. So in this case, um, I'm loading the fish name plus PNG and loading that into my image, which happens to be on the UI as well. Okay, so the way that looks on the device is as follows. We go ahead and find my fish application. We launch it, and here are my fish. Here's a firefish. Here's a bat ray. Here's a link on.